I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Rakal Kadash, double honors to the elders at Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. I'm going to do a chapter and a breakdown on Obadiah. And this is to Esau. A lot going on right now. And Esau is you so-called white people. So we're going to go to Obadiah 1 and 4. And it says, Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith Yahweh by Shemiah and Shai. And with their space stations and all their technology and us Israel, the hopeful elect, you know, they, they've set their stars their excuse me, uh, their nest among the stars. They, uh, you know, set their self amongst high. And we, we've, we went through our curse, which is uh, slavery, and they're above. They're above right now, but they will be pulled down low. Like he said, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. They're coming down, and I'm gonna jump up to um, Obadiah um, one and eight. It says, shall I not in that day, saith the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom? <laughs> the wise men out of Edom who um, are the top men in Edom, the military and, you know, in the government and of Esau around the world. They will be pulled down. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna they're, they will be taken down an understanding out of the mount of Esau Esau <clears throat> which are the white Europeans and the white Americans they're they're all together and it says and thy mighty men O T men shall be dismayed to the end that everyone out of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Let's say, let's, we're going to read that again one more time. And thy mighty men, O T men, shall be dismayed. Look up dismayed to the end that everyone of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. What does slaughter mean? These are the words of the Lord. Why? Why are you going to be cut off by slaughter? Why? For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. Who's Jacob? You Native Americans, Negroes, and Latinos. The 12 tribes of Israel. That's what they've done. Shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Forever. Let's read it again. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. There's no coming back from this. For what you've done to Jacob, to the tribes of Israel to the 12 tribes. You've done violence. 
against thy brother. You, you're done. There's no coming back. And on top of that, they, they've humiliated the Lord. <laughs> they humiliated him. All that, uh, you know, the Lord loves everybody. And, you know, um, <laughs> we, we, we all get along with everybody. No, that's not, that's not, that's not what it is. That's not what it is. Salvation is for the Lord, for, for Israel. And that's, there's nothing else to it. All you other nations will be going into slavery. And I'm trying to get uh, where they... Uh, Humiliated the Lord. And that's very personal. That's very, very personal. What they did is personal. It's personal. We go to Matthew 26 and 67. Let me start at, oh, I'm sorry. Salakia. Let me start at 66. It says, What think ye? Then answered and said, He is guilty of death. And that's how they're doing. That's how they're doing the Lord. Death. He's guilty of death. His own people and the other nations. Death. He's guilty of death. It says 67. Verse 67, then did they spit in his face and buffeted him. <laughs> they spit in his face and disrespected him and smacked him over and over and over. They continue to keep smacking him. You know, that's not cool, man. That's not, that's not of the Lord. That's not, that's not royalty. They did our Lord like that. It's personal. But vengeance is his and he's going to take care of it. I'm going to read it one more time. Then did they spit in his face. They spit in his face and buffeted him. Smacked him around. Spit in his face. Disrespected him. And others smote him with the palms of their hands. I take that personal. I take that really personal. And he will, he, he will, he's, vengeance is his. He's going to deliver vengeance. <laughs> we just read in Obadiah. Let me, let me go back one more time because Matthew 26 and 67. Then did they spit in his face. Who? Yahweh by Shemiah Shai and buffeted him and others smote, smote him with, with the palms of, of their hands. They spit in his face and smacked him around like he wasn't none. Then they beat him to death. It's personal. So he's going to he's going to come back and he's going to deliver <laughs> and destroy he's going to destroy he's going to destroy Esau, man. Esau, yeah. <laughs> you're you're on ball time, Esau. Let's, let's go right back to uh Obadiah again. One more time. I want to make this clear on why 
the Lord is gonna <laughs> He's gonna do this. You humiliated him. You humiliated him, man. And he could have took you out right there. He could have took you out right there. But he you know, he prophecy. He's on a mission. He's on a complete mission. So it says, this is Obadiah 1 and 8. Shall I not in that day, Seth, Yahweh by Shemiah even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the Mount of Esau? And thy mighty men, O T men, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. He's going to cut you off by slaughter. If you look up the word slaughter, you will see what slaughter means, what he's going to do to Esau and the other nations too. Why? For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee and thou shalt be cut off forever. And you humiliated him. You further affliction. finished through so I'm going to read it one more time for Esau for thy violence against thy brother Jacob shame shall cover thee and thou shalt be cut off forever Shalom